So we got our 1997 Sears Craftsman that we basically got for nothing. So far I have zero dollars into it and gonna take the deck off and <clears throat> we're gonna add a plow to it just for fun for winter time. And do some other modifications too. Probably do a light bar on top, a quick disconnect for the battery, and then probably do a weight basket in the back or something basically got to remove the mower deck for now I have the Sears manual right here I'm gonna follow the instructions and just looking we got to remove that pulley or uh, the belt off the pulley just kind of seeing what else we got to do first step was to unroll the belt from that pulley right there. This this was up here on the other side like this and rolled around, just rolled it off. Then there's a little pin, clutch pin, clutch lever pin right here. We gotta pop this one off next. And then looks like there's uh, these suspension arms on each side that have these cutter pins down here as well. So there's two on each side. I'm pretty sure it's pretty simple after that. So just do both sides and then um, see where we're at. Got it ready to be disconnected, the mower deck, or to be pulled out, I should say. But it's basically just a bunch of uh, cotter pins here. You know, one here, one here. There's this one right here as well. And then there's one that goes across the back. It's like a sway bar. That same thing, there's a cotter pin there. Just gotta pop that off. There's two up in front up here just go right up here just pop those off I just kind of popped them back on so when springtime comes and I'm ready to you know put the deck back on I'll put the deck back on but I think it's about ready to be just slid out over here um, should be pretty easy now slow so I slid the deck out it's pretty straightforward like I said you have um, you have a couple pins you have one here one here one across the back you know, the same goes for the other side. And then you got these two up in the front. So it was pretty easy. Just dragged it right out. And uh, we're gonna move on to moving the, putting the plow on now. Here's our plow and all the accessories or nuts and bolts and everything. It's basically a Sears Craftsman plow, standard plow. You can get it right online on Amazon or direct from Sears. Model 24441, 42-inch snowblade. Basically, I wanted to lay, lay out all the parts and kind of see what we got. Seems pretty heavy duty, actually. Not too bad. Let's see the parts we got, the arms and stuff like that. Not going to use everything, I guess. Here's the bag of bolts. So we got the front bracket mounted, pretty straightforward. Got to remove these three, three bolts. One, two, three, on both sides. And then you use the new hardware and you know do the same on both sides. Really pretty straightforward. Next step was to hook up this front uh, bracket here. And then next we're going to put up the pivot bracket support. So I put these two and now this pivot bracket supports next. So we got the pivot support bracket on. Just got to tighten some bolts down and then we're going to move on to the next step. Basically working on this other piece right now. Had to install these two bars together and attach the spring and then uh, put it through this the bottom here and then attach this other um, nut and bolt through here. Gonna move on to the next step now. So there's some kind of bracket that the plow mounts to. So we got the plow on. Just gotta make some adjustments to the handle, um, the wire right here to work the handle. 
and down and then just left and right here this handle got to make some adjustments to the cable we also added a weight uh, box in the back got about a hundred and about a hundred pounds in the back um, just use an old milk crate with some old dumbbells that I had bolted it to the hitch right down in there and then ran these you know metal straps up to the seat coils you know these are these are mounted to the sheet metal pretty good here so I figured that'll probably pretty hold pretty good add some weight balance to the back of it so we just put this really cool light bar on we just had to drill three holes into the hood one here one here and one for the wire Then I spliced it into the um, headlight switch, actually. So we have the main power coming up here from the new light. Then we have the two headlights here. I just spliced in, you know, the, the black to the black and uh, red well, to the orange is positive. So there we go, and it works really well.